You mentioned the backlash that uh, salon columnist David Sirota got for his column titled, Let's Hope the Boston Marathon Bomber is a White American. I was one of the, the people who responded critically to that uh, in a piece that I wrote as a response, not just for his discussion of white privilege, but for waiting a mere 30 hours to enter into a conversation about race and politics after the bombings. But you both seem to suggest that there is a need for conservatives to pin these kinds of moments on non rights but surely, surely, Joan, you have to also admit that there is a need among liberals to pin these kinds of attacks on white right-wingers. I could show you some of the tweets from uh, our friend Michael Moore um, or uh, some folks on NPR who were suggesting that Hitler's birthday was big for the right um, it, just in the hours after the bombing. David Axelrod saying the president was focused on tax day. I mean, uh, surely you have to find equal problem with that as well. Well, I don't know if I find equal problem with it. I, I will say I, I, I don't I can't take any credit or blame for, Dave, for what David wrote or for what Michael Moore said. I think that David's bottom line is also my bottom line. That the reason the reason your mind might go there, Essie, is because if it's a white American, whites are just not profiled the way the, you know the way other groups are. We have the, one of one of our many privileges is we're just individuals. Those are those are crazy nuts over there. We don't have to answer for them. And when it's not a white person. And if it were an African American or a Latino, or in this case they are Muslim, and so we're decide some people are deciding that means they're not white, um, then then you get then you do crazy things. Then you have people saying we shouldn't allow Muslims to immigrate at all. Then you have then you have a, a wave of paranoia at the, and uh, and profiling and prejudice that you really wouldn't have. But, if, but, if the, it had but been the kind white. of wave of paranoia and prejudice is also fomented on the left by folks like David Sirota. I don't see it. I, I don't see it that way. I mean, now I love this discussion that they're having because I think they're both representing both sides of the debate to a T there, and they're doing it very well. So, what's my overall takeaway from this, and what's the most important part? Joan Walsh is only one hundred percent correct, and Essie Cup. And by the way, I'm not trying to say Essie Cup is like a bad person here or anything or she's an idiot or whatever, but I, I genuinely think she just doesn't understand the nuance of what people like Joan Walsh and Sirota said. So let me explain, because I was on the same page. I want, I didn't say it on air, but I wanted the bomber to be a white male. Now, people flip out when you say that and they dismiss you, oh my God, loon, far left, crazy. But you need to be able to have a nuanced distinction in your head. Does that mean that I'm trying to say white people are inherently inferior and worse as human beings than all black people or Latino people or, or Muslims? No, absolutely not. That's the way it was misinterpreted by people like Bill O'Reilly and S.E. Cup, And they viewed it as simply a political hack job to say, well, since I'm a left winger, it's got to be this. No, you idiots. You have to realize the reason why we wanted it to be a white American is because of the reaction to what would have happened if it wasn't a white American. Now, after 9-11, attacks, uh, hate crimes against Sikhs, Sikhs, not Muslims, Sikhs, but they look like Muslims, increased 1,600%. There were more murders, there were more assaults, battery, of Sikhs at, by 1,600%, a huge increase after 9-11. Violence went up against Buddhists, against Hindus, against Muslims. People got lynched and killed. And the people who were killing them said, I'm doing this because I'm a patriotic American. Just the other day, you had Bob Beckel say, we need to stop Muslims from immigrating into the country. Why? Because the attackers were Chechen and they were Muslim. Now, that's why we wanted it to be a white American, because if it's a white American, people react the proper way. They say, oh my God, look, it's a tragedy, it's horrible, our sympathies go out, but it was an individual circumstance from individual people, right? There's no guilt by association played. It's not like I, I as a white male, will be a stereotype from there on out, and I'm guilty until proven innocent, right? It's not like we have to start profiling white men and looking at them extra uh, at when they go on a plane. It's not like there's extra scrutiny. The overwhelming majority of the mass shootings in the United States are done by white men. But what's the response from people? Well, it's mass shooting. It's got nothing to do with the whiteness or the maleness. It's just a mass shooting. 
But when it but when it's somebody who's Muslim, oh my God, everybody's guilty. All of the billion Muslims in the world are guilty, and we will blow. Let's hope we don't. But we're inclined to blow another six trillion dollar hole in the budget by fighting a war on terror in Iraq and Afghanistan. You have to understand that's why we were rooting it for it to be a white male because if it's a white male, there will be no increase of violence against innocent people. There will be no unnecessary wars waged overseas. There will be no overreaction where we piss on the Constitution and shit on the Constitution.